President Trump is set to unveil a new immigration proposal in the Rose Garden this afternoon. It's aimed at allowing more high-skilled workers into the United States, restricting immigration based on family ties. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, here with the details. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George. Good morning to you. So this is a plan that was uh, drafted by Jared Kushner with the help of President Trump. We're told it focuses on what they're calling merit-based immigration. And really what it would do is change the makeup of the type of person, the type of immigrant allowed to e legally come into this country. So let me show you how this would work. They're using what they're calling a point-based system. It favors highly skilled, as you said, educated English-speaking workers over people with family who are already in the country. Those are the type of people who are mostly allowed to come in legally now. It uses what they're calling patriotic assimilation. This prioritizes immigrants who show interest in incorporating American culture into their lives. And it does not address the fate of those two million dreamers, those undocumented immigrants who came into the country illegally as children. It also would create a push for more border wall. But, you know, George, even people close to the president concede to us that this is something that the Democrats are not going to be on board with. So they already don't have bipartisan support. Well, yeah, those support. are a couple of poison pills there for Democrats, the wall Dreamers. and no, not addressing the dreamers. But a lot of immigration, anti-immigration advocates aren't happy with this either. Exactly. These hardliners say that it doesn't, this plan doesn't do anything to address the total number of immigrants already and coming into the country. They want to see lower legal immigration across the board. Lindsey Graham told our team yesterday that this is uh, a, a broad message to unify the party. He says this is a plan that is never going to become law. We're told that we can expect to hear a lot more of this from President Trump. This is essentially he's laying the groundwork for his reelection campaign. This is going to be a huge part of that. But you know this, Congress hasn't passed broad bipartisan immigration reform in uh, three decades. Presidents George W. Bush, Presidents Obama, they both tried and failed. So and this one isn't going to do either kind of the definition of dead on arrival. Seems DOA. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.